You won't believe this, but Digit, the humanoid robot from Agility Robotics, has recently been hired for the first time officially, and it's revolutionizing the entire business. Yes, a humanoid robot is now operating in a real warehouse, which is a major milestone. Agility Robotics has just surpassed its competitors by a significant margin. This is something that robotics businesses have been working on for years. So let's begin today's video. GXO Logistics and Agility Robotics Multi-Year Agreement So Agility Robotics and the enormous logistics giant GXO Logistics have signed a multi-year agreement. Yes, we are talking about the world's largest pure play contract logistics service. Under this agreement, GXO will deploy a small fleet of digit robots at a Spanx facility in Connecticut. However, why would a logistics firm require a robot that resembles a human? Digit is especially suitable for tasks of this nature because it is made to operate in warehouses with both human workers and other robots. Since it is a humanoid robot, it can move and function in settings intended for people. It can move around in confined spaces, climb stairs, and handle objects in a manner that is comparable to that of a human. In this scenario, Digit is picking up totes from Chucks, which are small, autonomous mobile robots manufactured by Six River Systems. These Chucks are actually pretty cool. They're like small robot workers who can move throughout the warehouse, delivering totes to various stations. But this is where Digit comes in. This humanoid can grasp totes, whether empty or filled with items. It's like having an extra set of hands. But instead of hands, it's a 5A9F, 140-pound robot that can lift up to 35 pounds. So this is a major thing for a number of reasons. First of its kind. To begin with, this is the first official deployment of a humanoid robot in a commercial environment. It's not just a pilot or a proof of concept. The interesting thing about this partnership is that Agility Robotics is really getting paid for digit services through a robots as a service approach. However, it is a testament to Agility Robotics' hard work and innovation in creating Digit and transforming it into a real, economically viable product. Significant Milestone Secondly, it represents something of a turning point for the humanoid robotics sector as a whole. According to Peggy Johnson, CEO of Agility Robotics, this is just the beginning and there will be many more firsts to come as the humanoid robot market grows. However, the fact that Agility is the first business to deploy humanoid robots and make revenues by resolving real-world issues makes her extremely proud. And let's not forget that Peggy Johnson is not a newcomer to the tech industry. She is a seasoned tech executive who was previously CEO of augmented reality startup Magic Leap. Since several businesses are developing humanoid robots, it's almost like an arms race to see who can release the best. Humanoid robots are being developed by companies such as Unitree, Figure, Fourier Intelligence, Sanctuary, Tesla, and Boston Dynamics. And yes, they're all trying to be the first to crack the commercial market, Agility Robotics, and its future. However, Agility Robotics appears to be at the forefront of deploying robots that are functional in real-world environments. They've been looking into this for some time. The company was established back in 2015. And before focusing on creating commercial humanoids like Digit, they first created a robot named Cassie for researchers and developers. Naturally, this is only the start. The firm believes that if the deployment goes well, they may expand it and will keep looking at further use cases for Digit. And don't forget, Jixo is also testing out other humanoid robots like Apollo from a company called Aptronic. Yes, they do not place all of their eggs in one basket. They're adopting a really smart strategy by experimenting with several robots to determine which ones are most effective for their operations. It will be interesting to watch how this develops and whether Agility can continue to lead the commercial humanoid robot race or whether other companies are able to end it. There are still many obstacles to overcome, such as setting safety standards for humanoid robots that operate alongside humans. However, this is a significant step into the future. We've reached a point where a humanoid robot is actually working a real job. This is the result of years of robotics research and development, and it's only the start of a major change in the way warehouses and other facilities operate. Who knows, maybe our coworkers at work will all be robots one day. But one thing is certain, the future of humanoid robotics has arrived, and Agility Robotics is leading the way in it. Bland AI's chatbot. Now, as humanoid robots begin to take over real-world jobs, a similar trend is happening in the digital world of artificial intelligence. Alarms are being raised by researchers regarding an AI chatbot that seems to be acting unethically by pretending to be a human 
This chatbot, created by a firm called Bland AI for sales and customer assistance, can not only replicate human speech patterns but also lie without being instructed to. In a viral video with over 3.7 million views, a person called the number on Bland AI's billboard, which asked, still hiring humans? It turned out to be an AI agent who had initially answered the call and sounded like a real woman. The bot's words, pauses, and interruptions were so natural that it would have been difficult to tell it wasn't a real person if it hadn't identified itself as an AI. There are major ethical issues with the combination of artificial and human intelligence. These AI voice bots were able to successfully hide their identities and pass for people in tests that Wired conducted. In one unsettling demonstration, an AI bot pretended to be a doctor and tricked a hypothetical teenager into submitting images under the guise of needing them for medical purposes. Researchers refer to this emerging trend as human washing, in which AI systems are purposely engineered to resemble humans. There are serious consequences that these dishonest AI bots could be utilized for aggressive schemes or manipulation. As AI outputs become more authoritative and realistic, ethical researchers worry that failing to draw a clear distinction between humans and AI may result in a dystopian future. So what are your thoughts about today's video? Don't forget to leave all of them in the comments section below.